Bruna and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can crochet a super easy strapless bikini top, which is this one. So I really hope you guys enjoy, so let's get started! So for this project I'm gonna be using this yarn, it's a Brazilian yarn so I'm gonna be leaving all the information down in the description below. I know that you can buy this yarn on eBay so I'm gonna be leaving the link down in the description below as well, okay? It's a light green color so I decided to do my bikini top on that color and I'm gonna be using a 1.75 millimeters hook and a pair of scissors, okay? As always, I have one of the parts completed, as you guys can see, just to show you guys how it will look like. And it's super easy, we're gonna be doing a increase with double crochets, and then we have a little trick right in the middle here for the boob, and then also continue with double crochets, okay? Around we have some squares, and then the back strap, okay? So it's super easy, you guys will love this project, as you saw in the beginning of the video, it's really nice, it looks amazing on. And if you guys want to know how to crochet a super easy strapless bikini top, just continue watching the video. So first we're going to be doing a slip knot. And then we're going to be chaining three. And then on this first stitch we're going to be creating two double crochets. This part here, this one, is the beginning here, okay? So I just want to show you guys where we are at the moment. So now we're going to be chaining three. So from this point we're going to be starting the increases. So you turn and on that same stitch, on the very first stitch, you're going to be creating a double crochet. So now we have two stitches left, okay, right here on this row, so we're going to be doing two double crochets, so one here, and one for the last stitch. And on this last stitch you want to create one extra double crochet. So we have increased one double crochet on each side, so instead of having three double crochets we have five, okay, for the second row. So now we're going to be doing the same steps, so you're going to be chaining three, and then you turn, and on that very first stitch you're going to be creating one double crochet, and then you're going to be creating the double crochets for the stitches on the previous row. And then on the last stitch, you're going to be creating two double crochets. So one, two. You see how it is increasing? Okay, so it's becoming like a triangle. And I'm just going to show you guys the other one so that you guys can see the difference. Here we go. You see? We're going to be starting to increase, okay? until we get around here. So now we're going to be continue, so you're going to be following the same steps again. Chain 3. On the very first stitch, a double crochet. And then double crochets until you get to the end of the row. And on this last stitch, you're going to be doing two double crochets. So I just want to show you guys what you're going to be doing now. So this one here is the first part of the top, so this one here, okay? This one right here. And we're going to be doing the same steps until we get to this point, which I'll show you guys where it is. So for the first part of my bikini top, I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rows, okay? So from this point to this point, I'm gonna do the little trick right in the middle here. So how do you know how many rows to do for the first part, okay? So I'm going to show you guys a little clip where I wanted my bikini to start, okay? Okay. 
and then from this point you're gonna be doing your double crochets with the increase until you get to the beginning of your nipple okay and then when you get to this point which is the beginning of your nipple you're gonna be doing the little trick that I'm going to show you guys in a minute right here okay so that we can create the little curve for the boob so I am gonna be continue doing my double crochets with the increase until I have my 14 double crochets and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to show you guys how you do the increase right in the middle here okay so here I have all my 14 rows completed as you guys can see here we go and now we're gonna be doing the rows with the little trick right in the middle here which is basically just double crochets on the same stitch okay so first you need to find your middle stitch so my middle stitch is right here so what I did to find my middle stitch, I just folded this part in half, like that, and then I just found my middle stitch, okay, right here. So you just want to make this stitch here a little bit bigger so that you know which one is your middle stitch. Just pull the two stitches a little bit, and then you can see this one here is my middle stitch, okay? So if you want, you can use a pen just to mark this stitch here in place so that when you get to this point you know where your stitch is okay so now for the rows in the middle here we're not going to be doing the increases anymore so you're just going to be chaining three and then you're going to be turning and then you're not going to be doing the double crochet on the very first stitch so skip that stitch and then continue from the next okay so now we're going to be doing the double crochets until we get to this point here, okay, right in the middle. And then when you get to the middle stitch, you're going to be removing the pin. And then on that stitch, you're going to be doing three double crochets. So one, two, three. And now you just want to pull your pin back on the middle stitch. So the middle stitch will be the second double crochet on this stitch here. Okay, so you just want to put the pin right there. And then we can leave that for the next row. So now you want to continue with the double crochets until you get to the end of the row. I'm here my last stitch so remember that we're not doing the increases anymore so you're just gonna be doing one double crochet on the last stitch so for this middle part here I'm gonna be doing one two three four five rows with increase right in the middle and no increases on the sides okay so the amount of rows on this middle part here will depend on the size of your nipple and you want to do as many rows as you need in order to cover your entire nipple okay so from the beginning until the end of your nipple so now I'm just gonna show you guys another row and then I'm gonna do it by myself so you're gonna be chaining three and you're not going to be creating a double crochet on the very first stitch, you're going to be doing on the second. So, there we go. And you want to do double crochets until you get to the middle here. So when you get to the middle stitch, you're going to remove the pin and then you're going to be doing three double crochets on that same stitch. And then you want to return the pin on the middle stitch right here and then now you just want to continue doing the double crochets until the end of the row so I just finished my second row so now you guys can do as many rows as you need for the middle here for the middle with increase and I'm gonna be doing my three rows that I have to do with the increase in the middle and then I'll come back 
So as you guys can see, I just finished my five rows with the increase in the middle. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So now to continue the cup, we're gonna be doing the rows with the decrease on both sides. So now to create the rows with the decrease, you're gonna be chaining one and then you're gonna be turning. And then not on the very first stitch, on the second right here, you wanna create the first part of the double crochet. And then you want to yarn over these two stitches here this two and then keep one in the hook and then you want to jump to the next stitch and then you want to create the first part of the double crochet yarn over these two stitches here this one and then you want to yarn over all these three stitches together okay right here so now you can just continue with the double crochets until you get to your second to last stitch So I'm here on my second to last stitch, so again you want to create the first part of the double crochet and then yarn over the two stitches like that and then create again the first part of the double crochet on the next stitch, here we go, and then yarn over the two stitches like that and now you have three stitches in the hook and now you just want to yarn over all of the three together, just like that. And now you're going to be repeating the same as the previous row, so you're going to be chaining one, turn. Now not on the very first stitch, on the second you want to create the first part of the double crochet, yarn over the two, and then on the second one you want to do it again, the first part of the double crochet, yarn over the two, and then now you have three stitches in the hook, and then just yarn over all of them together. Okay, now you're going to continue doing the double crochets until you get to your second to last stitch. So when you get to your second to last stitch, you want to again create the first part of the double crochet, yarn over the first two stitches, and then the last stitch, first part of the double crochet, yarn over the first two stitches, and then yarn over the three together. Okay, so this is what you're going to be doing for your rows. I'm going to be doing seven rows in total for this part here. And when I have all of them completed, I'm going to come back and then I'm going to show you guys what to do next. So as you guys can see, I just finished doing all my double crochets with the decrease right here. So you can see that it's the same on the other cup. Here's the other one. And here's the one that I did just now. Okay, here we go. And if you guys want to know how many double crochets I have, so I'm just going to let you know. So I have one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so for this part here with the decrease, you're going to do as many rows as you need in order to cover the other side of your boob the other half and I'm gonna be putting a clip of me showing you guys where you should stop doing the decreases okay so once you get to this point it's time to do the little squares around the cup okay so these are the squares that we're gonna be doing so to begin the squares you're gonna be chaining three and on this stitch here which is the beginning of the previous row you're gonna be doing one double crochet and then you're going to be chaining one and then another double crochet on that stitch. So we kind of create a little corner right here. And then chain one again and then find another stitch to create the square and then a double crochet. Okay, so you can choose the size that you want for your square. I'm going to be doing really small ones. So just chain one and then choose a stitch and then create a double crochet okay so really small squares chain one choose a stitch double crochet okay so that's how I'm gonna do so now I'm just gonna do all my squares around here and then when I get to this point here I'm gonna come back and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do here okay so as you guys can see I just finished doing all my squares on this side so I'm here on my last square so you're just going to be chaining one 
and then right on this stitch here which was the first stitch that we created for the project so right there you want to create your first double crochet and then you want to chain one again on the same stitch you want to create another double crochet chain one and another double crochet and then you're going to be chaining one again and the last double crochet so right on that stitch we're going to have four double crochets and three little squares okay so now we can just continue with the squares on the other side on this side here and then when I get right to this corner here, I'm going to come back and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to do the top here, okay? So as you guys can see, I just finished doing this other side and when you get to the last stitch here, from this side, you want to chain one and then on that same stitch you want to create another double crochet okay and you want to chain one again and then you want to start working on the stitches from the top here okay so now at the top here we actually have some stitches to follow so skip one and on the next create a double crochet chain one skip one on the next a double crochet chain one and then skip a stitch on the next create a double crochet chain one skip a stitch on the next double crochet so just continue doing the same and then right at the end here you're just gonna be connecting to the other side with a slip stitch here we go so now we can just fasten off So now we're going to be doing the back strap right here on this side. So I'm going to be doing my back strap right in this stitch here in the middle, okay, of these four double crochets. So now you can just attach your yarn right in this stitch here. Create a knot. So now go back to the stitch, bring the yarn forward and chain three. And then on the same stitch, you're gonna be doing a double crochet. So I'm gonna be doing my back strap with double crochets. You can do as you wish, this is just an option. So you're gonna go up three chains, turn, and then on the next stitch, you're gonna be creating your double crochet. So chain three again turn and then on the next stitch you're gonna be doing a double crochet okay so now I'm just gonna go and finish my back strap and then when I come back I'll let you know how many rows I did okay so I just finished doing my back strap and I've done 45 rows okay so now right here we can just fasten off So as you guys can see, both of my cups are completed and also with the back strap. So now we're going to be doing a chain that is going to go across the front here. So you can just decide, you can do the same as the back strap or you can just do a chain, it's just up to you, okay? So I am just going to be doing a chain, so it's just up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my chain and then I'll come back. So I just finished my chain and I've done a chain of 140 chains, okay? So now you can just fasten off. And then right here I'm just going to be making a knot. And then cutting the rest of the yarn. And then doing the same on the other side. And with these yarns here, we're just going to be sewing them in the project. So first, find your reverse side. So this is mine. And I'm going to be sewing in my project the yarns that I have left here. Okay? So you just want to grab a stitch. And then you want to start sewing 
the yarn, okay? And then just to make a little bit more secure, you can just pull the yarn on that stitch and then fasten off, okay? You can do that and then you can just cut the remaining yarn right here. And then you can do it on this ones and on the other cup as well, okay? So now we're gonna be putting the chain right in the middle here. So make sure both of your cups are on the right side, okay? So this one, it's on the right side and this one too, okay? So now we're gonna be passing the chain through the squares. So this is how the front looks like, yay! And then at the back you can also create a lace, you can try on now because we have finished the bikini top guys, yay! So now we have the bikini top completed and here's the front and this is the back. So this is everything for today's video guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, thank you so much and I'll see you soon on my next video, bye!